Right now, Aaron is the best mortar player in Clash Royale. He is top 10 in the world, above 8,000 trophies at the moment with a 3.0 mortar cycle deck. I'll leave his YouTube and Twitter in the description below. He's been popping off and he absolutely deserves it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at how it's done. All right, so for this very first match, we're going to be against one of the most difficult matchups right now, and that is a Royal Giant deck. And not only is it just a Royal Giant deck, but it's a cheap Royal Giant cycle deck with the skeletons as well as the bats. So the opponent will be able to cycle insanely quickly, and Aaron is very aggressive with his mortar playstyle. He immediately goes in, and as you can see here, the opponent gets a really, really good Mother Witch here onto those skeletons. Royal Giant, massive connection by him, and uh, as you can see, what a terrible terrible start his tower is already down to 2800 the opponent does overcommit a little bit with the fisherman um but still absolutely amazing start but that being said aaron immediately takes advantage of this overcommitment. he goes mortar opposite lane and he gets only one mortar shot onto the tower nevertheless aaron just consistently cycling his cards and getting bits and bits of chip damage onto the opponent's tower he is not afraid whatsoever of the opponent's pushes and uh, as you can see skeleton king in the back we're gonna immediately mortar in the opposite lane and as you can see the opponent's royal giant comes down and immediately demolishes it and just a massive push here um, for aaron to defend and looks like he's going to use the tornado as well as the valkyrie um, to take that royal giant down kind of balancing damage between both towers quite effectively and honestly that is going to be your main defense to the royal giant because oftentimes you will have to save your mortars for offense and well speaking of offense there is one other secret weapon that allows aaron to win these seemingly unwinnable matchups and that is the rocket cycle so rocket comes down immediately followed up with a mortar for the opponent and uh, as you can see Aaron is now going to really have to struggle defending this push here so on the left we have a skeleton king push and on the right we have a royal giant so let's go ahead mortar in the center this time it's going to distract both lanes um, and as you can see very very flawless defense and just like that we're only about 600 damage behind now is a good time to rock it because the opponent just went in with a royal giant in the back but still Aaron has got his work cut out for him royal giant is really really just menacingly walking down this right lane here skeleton king down the other lane the opponent is one card away from a second royal giant fireball comes down here onto the mortar and we are really trying to defend here the opponent fishermans the valkyrie away we're going to tornado the royal giant backwards that is really going to be your most important defensive unit the tornado to pull that royal giant out of range of your towers which allows you to save your mortar for offense essentially anyways here the opponent's damage lead down to just over 400 hp another defensive mortar comes down valkyrie down once again to damage the royal giant down and now the opponent has taken aaron's tower down to 13 hundred but Aaron absolutely not afraid look at this he goes in with another rocket onto the opponent's tower immediately Royal Giant comes down how is he going to defend this well Ice Spirit to take care of the bats cycle to a Valkyrie so that none of his troops get any value and he nados the Royal Giant back again buying him such useful time here the opponent goes in with a Mother Witch but the opponent is able to defend all of this stuff 50 seconds left in overtime Mortar comes down here on defense let's pull everything together so the Mortar can hit it all Royal Giant comes down we're gonna try to cycle back to a Valkyrie cycle back to another Mortar to distract this Royal Giant and this time we're actually not even gonna Mortar on defense we're just gonna nado the Royal Giant backwards rocket coming down onto the tower we now just need to cycle back to one more rocket and it looks like the royal giant is just too slow we cycle way too fast and uh, as you can see just like one more nato here takes down the royal giant and the rocket finishes the game for Aaron. absolutely flawless play here taking down a royal giant matchup all right, for this next match, Aaron's going to be taking on another Mortar deck. And there have been quite a few Mortar decks popping up recently. This is one of the more popular ones. Again, Aaron, very, very aggressive with his Mortars. He immediately goes in here with a, uh, a Mortar on offense. His Log should be able to take care of the Archer Queen there. Skeletons to take care of the Miner. And Mortar Miner decks are a particularly tricky matchup for a couple of reasons. First off, of course, the two Mortars kind of cancel each other out. And then secondly, the opponent just has a consistent way to get 
tower damage with the miner. As you can see, Aaron maintaining the aggression and forcing the opponent to be constantly defending with his mortars. And that's it. Skeleton's down here in the back. He's back to another mortar. Um, and <laughs> look at that. Just like I said, he immediately plays it down once again. He predicts the Archer Queen as well. Um, Archer's down to take the Archer Queen down. And the Archer Queen actually dies here. So mortar very, very healthily on the tower. And the opponent has to go in with another defensive mortar. Very, very effectively making sure that the opponent is always on that back foot that being said it is now double elixir time so mortar once again coming down on offense here archer queen to defend unfortunately there's no saving this mortar um, but again the whole goal is to just be constantly out cycling the opponent's defenses so archer comes down we're back to another mortar and now aaron begins the rocket cycle in double elixir time with double elixir time you have so much more flexibility to go in with the rockets honestly more often than not the mortar is going to serve as the distraction um while the uh, while the rocket does most of the damage and as you can see aaron here just very quickly getting a king's tower activation and just like that the rest of this match is going to be a lot a lot smoother another offensive mortar here coming down for Aaron we are probably just going to go ahead and go in with a Valkyrie to defend this uh this archer queen and uh yeah as you can see we're still ahead in damage so no need to get too aggressive with rocket cycling yet um that being said we do defend this push very well and now i think we are going to go in with a defensive mortar this time as you can see in the anti-fireball position so the opponent cannot get too much fireball value and then finally with the opponent's mortar push pretty much taken care of another rocket comes down and that's going to be sort of the um the cycle that we're going to be going through for the remainder of this match offensive mortar comes down but as soon as we defend the opponent's mortar push then we are safe to go in with another rocket onto the opponent's tower so here fireball comes down but we cycle back to a second valkyrie here i'm um, going to very very cleanly defend this mortar push here another mortar here on offense for aaron and now in triple elixir time another rocket comes down as soon as we take out the opponent's mortar and just like that we are over a thousand damage ahead not even worried here of course we can use the classy ice spirit combination to always reset that miner here making sure the miner gets no damage whatsoever on to the arena towers 36 seconds left all we have to do is hold on for a little bit longer. NATO away those bats. Let's go ahead and go in with some archers. Take down the archer queen here. And 24 seconds. We're about 500 damage ahead, but not for long. We're going to go in with another rocket onto the opponent's tower. 18 seconds left. And all we have to do is cycle back to one more rocket. We are playing a motorcycle deck, so that's exactly what we're going to do. 10 seconds left in the match. He sends in the rocket, and that is going to be another GG well played. Next up, we're going to be playing against a Three Musketeer deck. Three Musketeers has been quite popular recently with the buff of the Elixir Collector. Starting off here, Aaron again being very, very aggressive with the Mortar. Unfortunately, a set of Elite Barbarians are going to um, just absolutely take everything down. Nevertheless, we do get one Mortar hit, so... Hey, we'll take that. The next important note is to always rocket out the Elixir Collector. I know now it is a minus one trade, but it's still just way better than just letting the opponent's Elixir Collectors run free. We're not too worried about the opponent going in with three Musketeers because we do have enough um, ground control with the Mortar and the Valkyrie and all of our spells. And heading towards double Elixir time, we're going to be taking a look at how Aaron is able to just take apart the opponent's three Musketeers musketeer pushes okay so mortar coming down here in double elixir time you know when the opponent plays troops in the back that they're trying to build up some sort of push so of course the three musketeers finally come down we're gonna actually get ourselves a king tower activation and the reason is because these three musketeers are played way too high so the opponent will not have elixir to support these pushes much and as you can see we're just going to very very easily counter this push um golden knight goes down that musketeer does get a hit onto our tower but we're not too worried and this time, unfortunately, we don't have Elixir to uh, take out the Elixir Collector, but we do have our final trick, and that is the Tornado. Nado's that Ice Golem out of range here, and uh, Mortar is going to get several, several good shots on to the opponent's tower here. And here's the thing about facing three Musketeers. The opponent does not have any spell more often than not, so... 
As you can see, we're just going to hunker down now on defense. And look at this. The opponent goes in with a collector, and we don't even care. We just rock it onto the opponent's tower. And the opponent is probably so mad right now. Um, but yeah, now we are officially in overtime. So next tower goes down is going to be the end of the game. Let's take a look at how Aaron defends these three musketeers. So he's going to log and NATO everything together. This is because two logs and a NATO, I believe, take care of the musketeers. Doesn't even matter. Um, the mortar is going to take the musketeers down here. Um, the Lee Barbarian does connect a little bit and a bit of a big push here comes... Um, here onto our opponent and Aaron's just gonna have to min max here He's gonna have to take a little bit of damage in that left lane, but still just flawless defense barely taking any damage whatsoever Collector goes down Aaron doesn't care at all. Just a defensive mortar immediately comes down Onto the field. He doesn't care about the collector whatsoever because all he has to do is defend these musketeers So we're constantly cycling here. The musketeers come down We're of course going to NATO all of those musketeers in the same lane so that the log is able to hit all of them And as you can see here the musketeers are rather weak Just a quick little Valkyrie here should be able to tank the uh, tank the remainder here the opponent does get a quick Elite Barbarian connection, but 50 seconds left and the opponent still has not been able to make a significant breakthrough. Another defensive mortar down here to defend this push. Of course, we're going to rocket probably these Musketeers as well as that Golden Knight. Elite Barbarians comes down, but we're playing a cycle deck. We have so many ways to distract. 27 seconds left. All we have to do are NATO these Musketeers in the same lane here. 22 seconds left. Rocket takes down these three Musketeers. Timer is ticking down and as you can see the opponent has absolutely no way to break through our defenses and just like that we are going to kite our way to a nice and easy victory. One more Rocket just seals the deal and that is a GG well played against three Musketeers.